In the little shade house, we got some neat news. We have the first Miranda picture of the year. Right there. And it's half opened right now. And uh, there's another picture coming in. Back in there. And there's a picture coming in down there. So that's pretty cool. Now, this little guy here is also a Miranda. This is the basil cutting that I took. Hey! The chickens are all fighting over a nest. They're getting ready to lay eggs, so they're loud right now. This is uh, the distillatoria that was in the tank. I decided to put some of the Highlanders out here because it's definitely warm enough finally, and I'm hoping it'll be doing better out here. It's getting a little picture right there. Well, I'm curious to see what that'll look like. And then, uh... Hiya, cheaper. The Ventratas have lots and lots and lots of pictures. Very beautiful. This little Ventrata is covered in lots of little pictures. And this is uh, Gracialis Red. It was also inside of the tank, and now it's out here because I figured that with real sunlight, maybe it'll actually turn red like it's supposed to. But uh, I'm not really, not really seeing any color changes on it. The newest leaf has got a nice uh, glossy texture to it. I can't quite see what's. Whoops, sorry. Sun is in my viewfinder. That one has a nice glossy texture. And we've got these three that are growing on this windowsill. They weren't doing uh, well. The two um, elbow marginatas, like this one. It's recovering. I got these from that place that sold them to me. They were so sick when they came. I thought they were gonna die. They've it's got new growth coming in. Two new leaves are coming in, so that's good. And I'll be glad when I can cut these bad leaves off. This plant is doing excellent. This is a Northiana. It was also inside in the tank. This is the main plant, and this is a basil. And it's got pictures coming in. So I figured it'd be doing better out here where it's nice and hot and humid. And this only gets sunlight in the morning for a few hours, and then it's in the shade, which is what it likes. And this is another uh, Alba Marginata. Okay, we got some hanging plants here that are doing really well, too. This is the uh, supposedly uh, Rainwardiana. I love how huge this pitcher is. I think it's about three, three inches, four inches, maybe. And then it's got a new leaf, new pitcher coming in there. And then we've got this cool thing. Let's focus on that. This is a pitcher that's kind of flat still, but hopefully it'll start to inflate. I'm hoping this will be one of my biggest ones yet. Of a hybrid called uh, Ventricosa cross Sibuyanensis cross uh, Mariliana. This plant. It's got another one there. And another one right there. There. So that's gonna be cool. And behind it is a red bicalcarata. It's just starting to open up. You can kind of see the little snake fangs inside. Not focusing. And then this one's got a lot of new pictures coming in. This is the hybrid of uh, Ventricosa crustabianensis cross trusmediensis. That picture is on its way out. And, uh, and a 
picture's been hanging in there since it was in the house. Okay, sorry about all the loud chickens outside. I just went out at a bad time during a egg laying and they're all complaining about using the same nest when they have several. Anyways, the windowsill, again, you can see there are actually fewer Nepenthes and the reason is because I repotted some of them and put them under the grow rack where they were getting better light and they're doing much better. I do plan on getting another fluorescent light for the top of this to make up for that. But the ones in here are doing really well. Ventricosa again. It's got a new pitcher coming in there. And then this is the uh, Cassiana. It's doing great. It has four pitchers on it. And they all got fed a fish pellet. They're doing really nicely. And it's got a new pitcher coming in. focus right there and it's got a new leaf with a new picture coming in right there. This is a Highland Truncata. It's doing really well. It's got lots of little pictures on it. New pictures coming in. It's a small plant. These guys grow real slow. Okay, we're ready for 4th of July here. A Lowland Truncata. Picture right there. And uh, this uh, oh, it's doing really well again. Oh, big picture coming in right there. Good. And a new leaf up there. Okay, some big changes to the grow rack here. This is the uh, seed hardening and growing out tank. You see there's fewer plants in here. Some of them were big enough to be put in the main tank. Most of these are doing quite well. There's nothing in that one anymore. But all these have a baby Nepenthes in it. Except that last one too. The bookend ones are kind of have died. But the second row here is really cool. I've got cuttings of Indratrata in here. Cuttings of the uh, Miranda in there. And this one that's just hanging in there, I hope it'll be okay. I'm trying to grow some sphagnum moss. Don't know if this will work, but I'm just trying different things, figure stuff out on my own. This is the Lowe's Ventricosa, and it's really, really cool. It's two-toned. Now, they told me this was a true Ventricosa, and uh, I got this in a trade. And it's got, uh, it's really long, which I'm not used to seeing in a ventricosa, but it's a young plant, so we'll see what happens. It's got a pitcher coming in there, and a pitcher coming in, oh, come on, right in there. And then next to it, we got a truncata D. Now, this plant is awesome because this plant was sick, and I managed to revive it. I got this plant last year, and I kind of got out of Nepenthes and I neglected a lot of them. But I managed to bring this one back and now it's doing well and this is the biggest picture it's ever produced for me. I'd say two and a half, three inches maybe. I haven't actually measured it. Another uh, Truncata D is a younger plant. But it's under the light. These are This is the one that was over in the windowsill. It's over here now. This is an unknown hybrid. This might they call it a hybrid, but this might actually be a real ventricosa. It's just kind of funny that they got them backwards. It's so cute. Got a new picture coming in there. And a, a lowland truncata. This is one of the ones that was also in the windowsill. And then cuttings of ventratas that are doing real well. And as for the seeds up here, they're not doing so great. Nothing's come up. So I'm lucky I had some success. And uh, these are uh, uh, tissue cultures of uh, Viking and Mirabilis. I'm not very good at this stuff. Actually, a friend sent me those. I didn't make those myself. And they've just been sitting in there. I may take them out and hard them off. And I may be giving up on tissue culture for a while because I just don't think I have a clean enough room to do it in. But anyways, 
big changes. Got to show you over here. Ta-da! My rage machine is now here in the front. I love this thing. I'll do a video and a story for that. Maybe even make a website because I'm a huge Primal Rage fan. And uh, I bought this arcade back in the 90s because none of the consoles or computers could do it justice. The only way that game is meant to be played is in the original arcade. And the baby pigeons have grown up. And Henrietta's still on her nest over there. But, uh, anyways. So, that tank is gone because I had to make room for my rage machine. And the only thing out here is my main 55-gallon tank. Let me, uh, turn off the mist so we can see what's going on here. And I'll turn on the fan to, uh, get the mist to clear up. Let's look at that while I plug it in. Get some of these plants. Okay. Get vortex everything. Clear it up. Good. I'll start from over here where there's less mist on the glass. That's a uh, low yield crust truncata. It's got a pitcher that's opening. This is uh, another Northiana. It's actually two plants in one. And I'll uh, put that one outside once it's bigger. Right now I think it needs to be inside. Little uh, Sibuyanensis crespitabilis crisp ursulicoides. <laughs> that's the pitcher from that one. It's, it's sharing it with the uh, Northianas. That mystery thing again. I don't want this plant actually anymore. So if anybody wants to trade with me, check my my uh, want list. I don't know what this is. This could be a ventricosa. This could be special out across ventricosa. Who knows? Uh, the unknown cutting of a cool nip. I wish it would picture, but it's finally getting true in the penthe leaves. So hopefully soon. The um, Merliana. It's doing great. Newest pitcher coming in. I'm thinking about repotting this one, putting it in the hanging basket, and just having it be outside and have pitchers hanging everywhere. There's a pitcher. Oops. Back in there. Okay. Camera sucks for zooming in. Two pitchers. And the one behind, the ugly one. I can't see it, but that one is was the biggest one so far. Let's see, what is that? That's some kind of hybrid that a uh, buddy of mine gave me Splendiana, I think it says. Oh, this is the uh, Remy Spina. It's got a cute picture there and a cute picture in the back. The Hamada, it is finally getting little teeth in. I could finally see them. Still green, that bothers me, but it's healthy otherwise. This pitcher's on its way out, unfortunately. It seems I can never have more than two pitchers at a time on this plant. I would love to get another Hamada of a different clone. This is a, a clone three from AW. Ampularia dark red. Sumatrana. Rainwardiana. Rainwardiana again, red one. Rain warding out of the red, even though it has a green pitcher. Uh, Lowei cross Merliana. Look at the cool spikes under the lid. That one too. Cool spikes under the lid. This uh, red leopard cutting that finally got hardened off, and I have it in here. I may put these outside, see how they do. Complex hybrid, I don't remember what that is. Another uh, Albo Marginata Red. A baby Jam Ban. Got a little picture coming in. A Mikey Eye. Oh, and this is a Mikey Eye cutting that's rooting. Raja with a pitcher coming in. 
and another Mariliana. Not too impressed with this one. This one gets small lids even though the humidity is high and they're not as colorful as the other one. I don't know why it's different. It's supposed to be the same thing, that giant clonate. Okay, I'm going to stop here. That's about it for the uh, carnivorous plant update.